Lord, for the purpose of uh, A572 of 2024. That's we, my list of the for us. That's all I'm only saying. I have had the directions of the bench. The file is not before it. But I have instructions for the purpose of the work to take that that petition was filed on 18th of October. The same day, the Kirugoya file were filed. All the directions in all these files that have been taken to a, grave, a graveyard is that none of these files of ours are borders. The reason as to why Kirugoya files before the learned judges one because they have orders to stop the swearing in of the deputy president elect. The CJ could not have selectively decided to have only one file before you, my lord. This is a trial of the judiciary. It is a trial that goes to the root cause of whether. There is impartiality. Mr. Yes, my lord. Mr. Omari. Yes, my lord. The file you are addressing us, we have said, is not before us. And we, the files which are before this court are the files in which this specific bench has been impaneled. Thank you, my lord. Allow me to mourn. Because when, because the questions I'm raising are very pertinent that there are files selectively brought before you, I, but I, there are Mr. others. Mr. Mr. Omari, we wouldn't know that because, okay. as you understand, we only deal with matters in which we have been impaneled. We do not impanel ourselves. Thank you very much. The impanelment authority has had me now done. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 I had indicated uh, to this honorable court that uh, there will be at least three clarifications. Just a minute to say yes. to clarify how these files are before this bench this morning. The three files which were filed in Kerugoya, that is 13, 14, and 15, and 24, had some interim conservatory orders issued by the court. Further to the issuance of those orders, the learned judge made further orders requesting the Honorable Chief Justice to examine a bench. Those files were transmitted on the basis of that order to the Honorable Chief Justice's office on the 18th of October 2024. On that very day, the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice and panel this bench to hear those matters. Thereafter, applications were filed online. I think you are all aware that they are operating online. Applications were filed online. When those applications were filed online, those are the ones which 
this bench gave directions for these matters to appear before us today. That is why you are here, and that is the trail, that is the paper trail as to why we are here this morning. So I reiterate the position taken by the presiding judge that we will not be comfortable dealing with any other file, even if it's related to this file, which we did not give directions for it to appear here today. So I think we can now proceed on the basis of that clarification. Thank you, Judge. My Lord, uh, just, yes. just a minute, please. My Lord, just to add that it's the, the numerous other petitions that are coming up. Yes, my Lord, I believe now I can be able to make the clarifications. We are starting with the other immediate background that uh, starting with the other immediate background that uh, we need to make these clarifications and we take into no, account. Sir, let, let us finish with Karam first. There's a Karam in E013, which was consolidated in the where with E014. Let's take Karam in that way. Thank you. 